What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Schnookums and welcome. Today I will be showing you guys a thing, a process that I call ore shuffling. Now what ore shuffling is, is where you take ore off the auction house, you smelt it down and then you sell it. It's a great way to level up your, uh, your mining skill in the early levels. It's a great way to just make some easy like uh, side cash. Um, it's just it's just another way to make some money if you're a miner. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to either look up on the regular auction house the different kinds of ores so you want to get tsm you just want to set up a group of the um the different mining ores i think this group is just called mining so it's just going to display all the mining ores that i could currently mine and smelt so what i'm going to do here uh i'm going to take a look at the different bars so if you look here you will notice that copper can be purchased for 49 copper uh pieces so uh, copper ore is currently worth 49 copper on the auction house i think that's like that uh yeah so the market value for it is about 99 uh, copper one silver it's gonna average it up but if you look at copper bars it is worth 90 uh 72 copper so when you see something like this it's obvious that you're able to make like a pretty decent profit i think that this would be considered a 23 copper profit which isn't too crazy but when it when you put in a load of copper like if you were to buy out like a bunch of copper at 49 copper and then resell it at 72 copper and it were to sell you would make a bunch of profit now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be buying this iron ore off the auction house because you can see that it's being sold for four silver exactly and we are going to be able to sell it back for five silver and 39 copper so we're just going to pick all of this up or pick up as much as we can um before we reach about i want to say about five silver so we're going to buy this and then we're just going to buy out the last of this. We're going to take it over to the smeltery and we're going to smelt it down into uh, iron bars. So we're here smelting down the iron, but while we're here, I want to talk about a uh, couple tricks that I use when I'm putting stuff up on the auction house. Now, we'll notice that I only had about 12 iron ore on me, which will only smelt up to be 12 iron bars. Now, the reason why this is important is because having 12 iron bars is not a full stack. So I'd want eight more iron ore to or at least eight more iron in any way to you know fill in the rest of that stack so it'd have 20. 20 is a full stack and people are more likely to buy stuff in a full stack because you know they get more of the item it's a lot easier to purchase um there's just a bunch of reasons why you want to post in a full stack so what i usually do if i do not get enough iron or enough of any ore in a full stack i usually just take it to the uh i just take it away and bank it up just so that i have it cashed away for when i get enough to, uh, you know put up a full stack but currently I already have a full stack here or almost a full stack so I'm gonna be able to just uh, you know fill in the blank I have 20 iron bars here um, that's worth around three gold um, it's not bad that's currently the undercut competition we're, we're gonna figure out how much we're gonna put it up for in a second but right now it is worth quite a bit of money so what I'm currently doing is I'm gonna be cashing away all of this iron as the price for iron is not what I want to sell it if you're somebody who already understands the market, you know what's going on and you know what you can sell something for and what it's worth, I recommend doing something like this so that you can make a lot of profit in the late game. It is very much worth noting that if you are unfamiliar with the market, you are unfamiliar with what stuff is worth and you know how much it should be sold for, uh, you need to be very careful using this method. There's usually a couple ores and ingots that I could usually rely off of to resell into the market, which is always about copper, tin, and iron. The reason why silver ore isn't on this list is because silver ore is a rare ore to get and it generally is a bottleneck in the mining skill. A lot of people are looking for it. For people to get silver ore, they'd be able to upgrade their mining skill a lot easier because they don't have to go out and look for a rare ore. That's why you see this price difference here where this silver ore is worth almost 30 silver, but this uh, the silver bar is worth 5 silver. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more World of Warcraft content. And uh, if you guys made any money, comment down how much you made in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.